Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Organic Leanne. Today we are talking about seed saving. I'm going to tell you about three plants in my garden that I let go to seed in hopes of becoming more sustainable and also working on some microgreens. All three of these plants are from the brassica family. The first up is this beloved little plant, broccoli. <laughs> Well, thank you, banana. I love letting certain things go to flower in my garden. Uh, here we go. Here is one of my broccoli plants. This one is young. They're going to look like this. They're gonna be small. They look like little peas. The pods are still very green. See here, here's a nice large one. I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried growing broccoli in the summertime out here in Southern California, where our temperatures are in the hundreds, broccoli loves to go to flower and then go to seed. You're going to start off seeing your broccoli go to flower. See this? And it likes to go to flower pretty quick in the summertime. I have decided to let them go to seed so that I can germinate them in July, plant them by September, and have a nice fall crop of broccoli. I love broccoli. It just does not do well in this Southern California heat. You need to wait till the pods are dry in order to start harvesting them. It looks like banana, freaking banana. You're so noisy. <laughs> the nice thing is with broccoli, it propagates really easy. Click the card to check out my video on propagating broccoli. Actually, the plants that I am harvesting my seeds from are propagations that I did at the beginning of the year. You wanna wait on your broccoli seeds until they start to dry out and then your seeds are ready. Super easy. Next up, radishes. Now these are gonna be the Chinese meat radishes. They also went straight to flower. So I'm looking forward to planting these as well in the fall. As the flowers start dying back, you start seeing these little, these little pointy things coming off. Those are your seed pods. They're going to, here's some juvenile seed pods. And here are some older ones. They still have to dry out. So I'll show you those when they're done and show you when they're ready to be harvested. And the last plant that I'm going to show you is arugula. Now here, see these beautiful arugula flowers? They're sweet, tastes like sweet arugula. Then you start to see similar, very similar pods to the broccoli and to the radishes. Here are the seed pods. See those, you want them to dry out, then you can harvest them and plant them for next season. Super easy. You just have to let them kind of go wild like that. But you know, they're beautiful. The bees love them. So that helps add to the beneficial insects that come into your garden. I still utilize the arugula leaves. They're a little stronger tasting than when they're young, but I still use them. I used them in stew the other day. Nothing like arugula. Arugula is great. Uh, here I have drying my broccoli seeds them in there. These are these are ready to even be picked right now. Uh, we do have some green ones still left on there. I let them dry out as well as I can. I'm going to start germinating these in July to have nice fall broccoli. You can see, kind of crinkle them in your hand. Such and look at look at those seeds. All right, so you see here, you can see my radishes the seed pods. These guys are still in their soil. I've got them cascading over. Uh, they're drying out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling these. I ha already have some of them drying. Look at all those radish seeds. Pick a pod right there. And the last plant, arugula. Check out those seeds behind me. Thousands of them. She is drying out really well. Let's just go ahead and pull these right out. So on this side of my chicken coop, it's pretty shady most of the day. You don't want to do it in a full sun spot. This is afternoon sun. These guys are ready to be harvested. Always remember this about the brassica family. If you have things like broccoli or cauliflower, they can cross pollinate. So if you're going to save seeds, be sure to keep them a good distance apart. So one thing I love to do is to test the viability of my seeds. Right here, I have a little glass of water. I've let them soak for about two, three days. And let's see what's going on in there. Can you see? 
Oh, look at it. Can you see that sprout? Turn the glass. There it is. Look at that. So these are good to go to save for next year or if I decide to sprout them. Sprouting broccoli and radish seeds are wonderful. And arugula. Great microgreens. There it is. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I hope this episode of Organically Ann helped you. If you know of anyone who can use some information on drying out some seeds for next year's harvest, well, please be sure and share it. If you have not subscribed, you know, smash that subscribe button. And thank you so very much for being a part of the videos here at Organically Ann. I greatly appreciate you and I have so much fun with your comments and questions. Uh, also, if you have any special ways that you like to seed save, share them with me in the comments. I would love to hear, I'd love to try uh, how you go about saving seeds. Alrighty guys, blessings to you and here's to the fall garden. <laughs>